Ryan Reynolds is jokingly calling out his wife, Blake Lively, for ditching him on Super Bowl Sunday. So Ryan posted, so Blake Lively came out with Taylor Swift and Ice Spice. They were in the box together. And Ryan posted, has anyone seen my wife? <laughs> That's what he posted. Now, instead of being home with Ryan, Blake was with her BFF, Taylor Swift, and Ice Spice cheering on the Kansas City Chiefs. How you get to be Taylor Swift's best friend? I don't know. What is the requirement? I'm trying to put in an application myself. I'm telling you. <laughs> Cause she be you, and, and you know, cause you know when you're your best friend, you gonna get cut at some point. But I want to know what. <laughs> and she, so she's the new best friend. But I gotta say, I do not blame Blake Lively uh, because if Taylor invited me to the Super Bowl, I would have left Ryan Reynolds at home as well. <laughs> you know, because here's the thing. When, I, you know, when I was, when, whenever I used to date somebody when I first got married, I would be like, no, my husband has to go with me everywhere. We are attached at the hip. You know, you know those married couples they always wear the same shirts and be dressed. Up. That's how. I was. I'm his, he mine. That's what I used to have. But now that does not happen anymore. If a, if a man wants to stop me from hanging with Taylor Swift, I'm like, you'll be all right. You, you sit. <laughs> sit right here. I'll be all, I'll be back. So I say to Ryan Reynolds, let your lady go. Because after hanging with Ice Spice, who looked like she didn't know nothing about the doggone game. <laughs> She is gonna be ready to come back to you, Ryan, anyway. After Blake Lively sees Taylor kissing Travis Kelsey and everybody getting booed up, she's gonna sit there and go, you know what, I could be home with my husband doing the same thing. So that's, so Ryan, be, it's, it's gonna be all right. But it's good it's because Blake was a wingman. She could be a good wingman for her friend Taylor. It's always good to have a good girlfriend with you like that because then you can leave early or you could give your wingman, your girlfriend, that looked like, go, 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 <laughs> go. And it's always when you had a wingman, that girlfriend, it's always when they don't want to go. You're like, go on, just go. And they never want to go. I, got a, I had a wingman, and I was at a party once, and it was a well-known actor. He was trying to talk to me. But my girlfriend, Earlene Gray, <laughs> would not leave me alone, y'all. I kept giving her the eyes. I was like, would you please leave? Because at the time, this would be for Jesus. I was like, I want to sleep with him. <laughs> Just... Go ahead. That was BC, before Christ. All right, so anyway. <laughs> He know my heart. I'm just telling y'all what happened. But she would not leave. She wouldn't leave. And I kept looking at her. My eyes got wider and wider. <laughs> she never got the hint. And he asked me, he said, would you like a drink? And she said, yeah, we would like a drink. <laughs> I'm looking at her like, would you get out of here? <laughs> then she starts quoting Bible scriptures on me. <laughs> oh, my God. So nothing. We went home, me and her, by ourselves. <laughs> nothing. Then the same, my same girlfriend, Earlene Gray, did it to me at another time. We were at the Essence Music Festival, and that's in New Orleans. New Orleans. That's when it's like the biggest group. You know, men coming from all over to see all of the entertainers and the musical acts. And another, I met another well-known actor, and he was flirting with me, y'all. Now, he's married now, but at the time, he was single. He was absolutely single, and he was flirting hard. But my girlfriend did not get the hint. And I'm telling you, he came off, he was a party we were all at and they had cars everywhere and he stood on the car his legs were like this and he was like this and I went here I come <laughs> when I tell you slid right in front of him at that party right because in New Orleans it's hot it's hot and it's sweaty and it's hot and what happens in New Orleans, I don't know the rest, but it just... <laughs> and he sat there and he said, where, where, where are you staying? I said, six minutes away, we could walk, literally. <laughs> when I tell you, I was red to D. And this when my girlfriend come over quoting them scriptures. Then she put her hand and whispered in my ear, Sherry, what would Jesus do? <laughs> That's what they always get you. And I said, well, Jesus is not going to do nothing but Sherry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That dad going to grow up to see wingman. When wingman go wrong, and she going to look at me, she said, how you don't want to be with him? He done had his lips on every actress in Hollywood. I went, I don't care. <laughs> <sighs> so nothing. We ended up going back to our hotel by ourselves. Nothing happened. Thank you, Lord. We're gonna